Welcome once again, friends. My name is Gerald here with Innovate Christian Community Church. Welcome to our nightly psalm reading, or daily psalm reading, depending on what time it is where you're at. Our psalm comes to us from Psalm 62. And as always, our prayer is just in the reading of our psalm together and the message that God brings, that you would be encouraged, that you would be blessed, and that God would be glorified by the reading of His Word. Tonight's psalm is entitled, My Soul Waits for God Alone. It's for God alone my soul waits in silence. From Him comes my salvation. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my fortress. I shall not be greatly shaken. How long will all of you attack a man to batter him like a leaning wall, a tottering fence? They only plan to thrust him down from his high position. They take pleasure in falsehoods. They bless with their mouths, but inwardly they curse. For God alone, O oh my soul, wait in silence, for my hope is in him. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my fortress, I shall not be shaken. On God rests my salvation and my glory, my mighty rock, my refuge is God. Trust in Him at all times, O people. Pour out your heart before Him. God is a refuge for us. Those of low estate are but a breath. Those of high estate are a delusion. In the balances they go up, they are together lighter than a breath. Put no trust in extortion. Set no vain hopes on robbery. If riches increase, set not your heart on them. Once God has spoken, twice I have heard this, that power belongs to God, and that you, O Lord, belongs steadfast love, for you will render to a man according to his work. So friends, a lot of good stuff in this psalm tonight. I see David pointing out that our faith, our salvation, our well-being is only found in God. And he comes here at the, at the end of the psalm and he's talking about, you know, put no trust in extortion, no vain hopes on robbery, and if riches increase, set not your heart on them. Why do you think he said that? I think because a lot of times, you know, those are money things. And a lot of times whenever it comes to money, we put our trust in it rather than our trust in God, who is truly our salvation and our refuge, as David says here. You know, God is to be our source of comfort, our source of peace, and anything outside of Him that we put those things in, that we put our peace and our trust in, are idols, small g gods that we trust in. And God doesn't want that. That's a sin. He wants to be first. He wants to be who we look to for our peace, for our comfort, for our blessings. You know, too often we may look at, you know, gaining more riches, gaining more money so that we can buy more things in the hopes of enjoying life just a little bit better. And that's not always wrong. Don't get me wrong. But it becomes dangerous whenever you place your salvation or your rescue or your comfort or your peace in those things that money can provide. And so David starts out the psalm, you know, saying, On God rests my salvation, my mighty rock, my refuge is God. It doesn't matter if you have a little bit of money. It doesn't matter if you have a lot of money. Those things are not about your salvation. Your salvation is rest in God. Your peace, your comfort, your well-being, rest in God. And He has provided salvation to us through His Son, Jesus Christ, and that is the only way that is provided. It is through His Son's blood shed on the cross for you and I that makes us right with God. It's not what we do outside of us placing our faith in Him. And then we can say, On God rest my salvation and my glory, for He is always an everlasting refuge and full of steadfast love for you and for I. 
But friends, as always, my prayer is just that this has been a blessing and encouragement to you. If so, pass it on to someone else so that they too can be blessed and encouraged. Feel free to leave me a comment if it speaks to you. I'd love to hear from you. But friends, again, I thank you for joining us for Psalm 62 tonight. And we'll come back again tomorrow and see what the Lord has to say for us. Be blessed, friends.